Let us talk about the ECS optimized AMIs. These are pre-configured with the requirements and recommendations to run your container workloads. When you launch an EC2 instance via the ECS EC2 management console, it will automatically use the EC2 optimized AMI by default. Features of the ECS optimized AMIs, it comes with the uh, Docker pre-installed, comes with the ECS container agent installed, OS level optimized for containers, there is a variant of the ECS optimized with GPUs. And here's an example of us changing the launch template uh, to change it to the um, AMI that we'd want to utilize if, if it's GPU. I don't have a screenshot of this, but uh, you cannot find, at least I wasn't able to find the, uh, the optimized AMIs via the AWS Management Console. You use the CLI and they have commands based on uh, what kind of compute you want to utilize uh, underneath, uh, whether you're using T3s or T2s. But the point is you have to use the CLI to grab that information. There's also Bottle Rocket AMIs. If you don't know what Bottle Rocket is, it's a Linux-based open source operating system that is purpose-built by AWS for running containers on virtual machines or bare metals. I think they might call it like a micro VM because it's really, really small. Uh, it doesn't have a package manager. It can only be uh, run uh, as containers. Um, so, uh, updates are both applied. It can be rolled back in a single step, which reduces the likelihood of update errors but it doesn't support ECS Anywhere, Service Connect, or EFS in encrypted mode, or AWS VPC network mode. I didn't talk about this when we were talking about capacity providers, but since we're talking about EC2 uh, optimized instances, the way you add them to your cluster is what you'll have to, have to do is you'll have to set in your user data um, the setting ECS. So it, we can either set this, it goes into a particular file, the settings.ecs file, and so uh, you can use it as a toml file or there's another way to do it we do it a little bit differently in the in the lab you'll see what i'm talking about when we do that but the idea is that if you do not set your cluster name um the it doesn't know to add that ec2 instance to uh, the auto scaling group uh for your capacity provider for ecs ec2 but anyway this will make more sense when we actually do the lab okay